Hi, it's Anne from The Useless Crafter. Today we're gonna to be making these little baubles. They're super, super cute. Um, and I'm gonna show you, well, I'll show you how it looks different with the different colors. But anyway, before we get started, if you haven't subscribed, please do. I totally appreciate all the support that I can get. Um, okay, so let's get started. I'm gonna show you the two. I love these little guys. I mean, they can be, this is the bobble that you've seen on the Pringles cans that we've done. Um, what else have we used them on? Um, on top of like gift wrapped items, like presents. Um, but I love them. They're, they're a lot of fun. So you can hear it. And then I've been using the little tag that it comes with and adding a name. So this is, I also wrapped the straw in satin ribbon. So I guess if you were going to make this a cake topper, I wouldn't wrap it, but I, I mean, people stick everything in cakes these days. <laughs> so anyway, all right, this is, I mean, I think of it more as like a photo prop. This is Tinkerbell, which I know it's hard to see with the, with the dome and whatever, but, um, we're going to be doing one today and I'm going to show you, I mean, there's so many different things that you can do and it changes with the colors. Um, if you've seen me, um, if you follow from before, I did that baby like rattle one for a for a baby shower and then I did one for my brother where it was like all black and sort of like more um modern and I don't know more adult-ish so all right let's get started <laughs> um first things first let's do so you know I like doing HTV here I'll move this down so you can kind of see it on the side I, you know, I just love doing HTV on cardstock because it's so easy. Look at how thin that eight or that L is right there. Um, I think it would have been difficult in cardstock. Um, you know, it might take a few tries before you don't get one that rips and then, you know, it's just really delicate. So I definitely prefer HTV for, for stuff like this. All right, so I'm gonna get my mat out and um, I do like my, you know, the mini Cricut press because for projects like this, it's just nice to have like something small and accessible um, and not have to get out like your six by seven or your 12 by 10. Um, and this is only gonna take a few seconds, but love it. And it's just so easy to weed. I know I had already weeded that one that's it, right? Okay, so I'm gonna put that aside. What I like to do is, you know, in this little area, cause it's so short and it's small, I have a really hard time knotting something like that. And sometimes the knot gets undone. I also don't like the look of it. So I'm gonna layer this. And part of the reason for layering it is that there's gonna be, I'm basically gonna run the ribbon inside and glue it down so that it is knotless <laughs> or seamless whatever you want to however you want to call it okay so i'm gonna move this aside let's get started um so we are doing Haley, which is the other tinker bell so let me pull her out so this is the cutting mat they're all still on here and let's pull this one up and i'm still you know i'm still having issues with my with my print then cut, but I'm tired of calibrating it. So this is enough for me, it's acceptable. So I'm gonna move that aside. You can see like on some parts, there's too much black. You could, here, let me put it on here. So you maybe, yeah, you can kind of see the black outline. Um, if you wanted to, you can trim it if it really bothered you. Um, I'm okay with it. Um, I might actually, <laughs> of course, as I say it, I'm not okay with it, but I'm just gonna trim a little bit off the wings just because it's so white that uh, the black is, I feel like it's more prominent than it needs to be. There, so I cut that off. I'm gonna trim a little bit of the legs. And then, yeah, that looks a little bit better. And then just a little bit in the arms right here. There, oops. I think that looks a lot better. Okay, so I do like, um, 
putting it on cardstock. And if you can see here, they have all these cutouts. <coughs> I was in such a rush to print this, I didn't notice that my offset had all these cutouts. What I would do differently is I would um, select this image, the offset, and in design space, I would go to contour and hide all. Then it would give me a solid background. But it really doesn't matter because we're going to be gluing this down. And so it's not a big deal. So I'm pulling off the sticker. Okay, we're going to put it down. Oh, she's totally off balance. That's okay. I'm going to cut this a little bit more. Don't mind me. The nice thing is that I chose the same offset as the background, so it's going to be okay. We're not going to really notice it. So with this, what I do want to do is I want to add a little bit of foam squares behind here so that it pops up a little bit, and then we're going to pour the sequins on the inside, like the, the foam foam balls and whatever else. So I'm going to do it like this. Now I am because I'm paranoid. I will be adding hot glue to this, okay? So I'm going to grab, yep, it's hot. Just to make sure it's not going anywhere, I'm putting it around the glue, I mean around the foam tape and over the foam tape. And I'm gonna have her just kind of tilted like so. So she's gonna sit like this. We're gonna throw in the sequins. All right, so let's grab one of these baubles. These baubles are on my Amazon shop. So the link is in the description and you can go and get the, the photo paper as well as the baubles, so okay. All right, so I want to make sure that when I put this down that the handle, this little bobble, goes on this side. When I did this one, I just wanted to make sure that it was on the side, but I put it on a side that I didn't, I, I don't know, for some reason I preferred on this side. So anyway, just remember that. <laughs> so I'm going to flip it over and let's put our sequins in here or, or you know, your little mix. So I'm going to put just a scoop in there. These are so fun. It's foam balls, it's um, acrylic stars, it's all the fun stuff. Now, I used to use my hot glue gun to close out the bobble and get it to stick to like my Pringles can, for instance. Um, but I've since been introduced to beacon glue, which I totally love for this. So just make sure that your glue, it's, it's not as messy looking as your hot glue gun. So you want to make sure that the glue is um, on the rim all the way around, of course, right? Because we want to make sure that our confetti mix stays inside the bobble. So I'm just going to run this all the way around. And it's a really, really clean look. Okay, so I want it on this side. So I'm going to put, oh, shoot. Got a little bit of glue all over the place. All right, I think that's a good seal. And there we go, it's gonna be so cute. Okay, we'll put it aside for now. And let's work on the ribbon. Um, so I only have these um, straws and I didn't like the way it looked. It looked a little bit busy for me. Sorry, I was just checking on that just to make sure. So I, that's why I went with the green satin ribbon. The green satin ribbon too, it just makes it look nicer. So I do like it anyway. Um, okay, it's super easy with your hot glue gun. Just get started on here. It doesn't matter because this top part is going to be hidden inside the between the two pieces. So don't worry about, you know, like getting started and how it looks. Let's just put down a little bit of glue and let's get this started. Yeah. <laughs> 
I'm getting glue all over my hands. Okay, so um, I like to roll it a few a few times, and then every few, I do want to add a little bit of hot glue because I don't want it to um, somehow unravel and get a little bit messy in between. So just every few, I'm gonna add a little bit of glue. I'm getting towards the bottom, so I want to add a little bit of glue one more time. And the nice thing about it being ribbon or a satin ribbon is that you could have a little message and use HTV and iron it onto your ribbon. So I'm going to go a little bit more and let's get a little bit more glue down here. And then I'm going to wrap it parallel to the ribbon so it covers the straw completely. And then I'm going to do my last glue right here and let it wrap around just a little bit more. Okay. Then cut off a little piece. So in this case, I mean, my daughter and her friends, these are for her and her friends. Um, it's a Peter Pan production, so I could put, you know, Peter Pan or the camp name and the year. It, it would be a really cute keepsake. So I've definitely done that before. I just, I didn't think I was going to do the wrap of the ribbon. And then, um, so I didn't cut it in time. So, <laughs> so there you have it. That's why I'm not doing it. All right, so our ribbon is in place. Um, this is done. So what we want to do with this now is let's get the little string so that we could do the name. So I'm going to cut the string here. Uh, loop it through the little hole. And then let's put the foam squares on the name, the white outline or offset. What we're gonna do is at this point I'm gonna put it really close to here and I'm gonna put the string right on top of the sticky uh, foam square so that way it stays put I'm gonna cut off the excess I would have had such a hard time knotting that <laughs> So, okay, so now I've cut that off, right? Here's my top. I'm going to add glue to make sure that it stays in place. And then add my top. So it just gives a clean look. There is no knots. Um, I know it's not gonna undo itself. There's a lot of glue going on right here. So it's all good. Okay, so the back, and look at these two are identical, except that this has a green background. I feel like with the green, it's, I mean, it definitely makes it darker. I, I kind of like this white look, but nonetheless, we're gonna continue. <laughs> um, okay, so this is, I cut this little piece so that it goes over here so that it can cover up any glue, any mistakes that we made. Um, using the beacon glue, it does help. It makes it look really, really clean. So you don't necessarily need it, but I like it just because it's de decorative and pretty. So knowing that, to cut that, you have this little piece. So what I've been doing with this little piece is after everything is done, I just glued this on it. It just looks nice. <laughs> See? 
it just gives it a really clean look. So I'm not wasting anything. I'm gonna keep this and put it aside. Um, let's grab the green piece though. So with this, I like to line up on my Cricut mat so that I know what is straight. So I'm gonna put this down. And so actually, let's do, this is straight. And so this middle line right here is where I'm gonna put this. Now, because this is kind of thick, I'm also gonna put down um, some foam squares so that this piece sitting on top is gonna sit pretty flat. It will have the straw and it will also have a few of these foam squares. And you'll see in a minute. I'll move it back. Okay, so I wanna press down, make sure everything is in place. This first run of hot glue, I'm actually just gonna glue down the straw. I'm gonna glue down the bottom of the foam squares so that I know it's gonna stay put. And then once that's done, then I'll put glue on top of this to then put the top layer on, on, on top. And the reason why is because I find that the hot glue gun, like if I try to do everything all at once, it may dry on me and I don't wanna to have to, <coughs> excuse me, my cough. I don't wanna rush myself. So let's right now make sure that this is not going anywhere. I'm just putting glue down on my foam squares to make sure it stays put. And then I'm gonna put down glue right here. Then move this in and make sure it's straight and everything looks good. Once it's, you know, once I have it lined up the way I want, I'm just gonna put glue all the way around just to make sure that this stick is definitely in place. All right, so now that we have that, now we can pick up this piece and put glue on top and then lay Tinkerbell on top. So, and I'm putting a lot of glue to give me time before it dries. Okay, lift this up and put it down. And that's it. So this is kind of done. Now with this piece, this is what I did with this. On this one, I had it kind of sitting on top and then I added ribbon all the way around. The problem with that is there is this little stick and if it's not even, you're gonna have like, a, it's gonna be a little wonky. So, what I did with this one, I really liked. I cut it where the straw is gonna be so that I was able to get this down pretty flat to the original circle that the dome is on. So I kinda, I actually really like this look. So what I'm gonna do is, I am gonna grab my scissors. Um, <sighs> It's under my foam tape, that's why. And you see, like, I'm just gonna cut off, like, that much. That's gonna be for the straw. That's my excuse anyway. But you can kind of see, it just gives me more space to work with and to line it up against here. So, I'm gonna pick this up. I'm gonna glue down right here where the, where there's that little hole. Um, I'm gonna add glue. and just lay this piece kind of flat along there. And then I'm gonna go over here and do the same thing. And that way that piece isn't going anywhere. I'm gonna do it down here just because no one's gonna really flip it under. So I'm gonna do it under here, add a little bit of glue Push this down. And then maybe add a little bit of glue right here as well. And 
and then maybe one more right here. One more little dot. Okay, so that's all done. The piece is around. I'm gonna just flip this over and now add this little piece just to make it look a little bit more fancy, because I have it. <laughs> so on this one, I was using, let me close out this glue. Um, I like to use Barely Art glue because it works really well with cardstock. So I'm just gonna make sure that the glue is all around the edges. Put this down, hold it down just to make sure that the edges, um, you know, it's making contact with the green paper underneath and that it's flat. It only needs a few seconds and then I'll dry and I'll look great. So while that's going, I'm gonna just put the lid back on and then I'll show you what that looks like in a second. So super easy, right? And look how pretty that is. So I've got that one, this one, and this one. What do you think? I don't know. I. I like the, the white background for some reason. I think it's all cute, but there you have it. But see, it's just like, it makes noise. Super cute to give out and take pictures. All right, let me know if you have any questions, comments, uh, special requests, all of that. All right, thanks guys, bye.